Hello, wherever you happen to be, welcome to Catalonia, welcome to Barcelona. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And getting ready for what should be potentially thrilling action here. It's Barcelona up against Napoli. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. The free-kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Jordi Alba. Robbed them. Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. This might have potential. Options in the centre. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, Memphis Depay is well capable of changing the course of any game. And it's reasonable to assume, Stuart, that he'll have his say in this one. Well, Derek... Oh, well, they might score here, Stuart. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it's off target. They were watching him like a hawk. <laughs> Onguisa. Fabian. Victor Ozimhen. And he's won the ball. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here's the replay and what a well-delivered cross this is perfectly placed and then just look at the finish Derek he reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper there's just no stopping that well Napoli get things moving once more that should shake them up a bit playing with purpose and control and deliver towards the back post and a bit short with the clearance Zielinski. A really sumptuous ball, but no, just offside. Well, it was close, and it is offside. The assistant got that absolutely right. PK. Pedri. No, high quality defending. As the stats show us, Barcelona have had less of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Still possibilities. Well, they survived the attack. Onguisa. It's with Onguisa. And Politano with it. Unable to keep the ball that time. Jordi Alba, Pedri, Jordi Alba, and he's got the beating of his opponent, Jordi Alba, has someone to play it to, still looking to get the shot off, he scored once already and close to making it a double, well every time he gets on the ball he looks a real danger today, Ozim Hen, And Politano with it. Well, no problems defensively. Onguisa. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank.
Can he finish? And even Ter Stegen might wonder how on earth he got there. Now sending it in. Well, still an issue here. Well, the first 45 minutes have come. And the referee sounding the second half into action. It's Barcelona with the lead here. Fabian. Amir Rahmani. Coritano. He made it look simple, really. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Flag raised for offside. Substitution time as is here. Sergio Busquets. Now with De Jong. Pedri. Now Busquets. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Space afforded him. Mertens. Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. And they will make the change now. Frankie de Jong. What a typically creative and influential first-time performance from Frankie de Jong. How would you sum it up? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Crisp tackling. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. To Stegen, it's an unbelievable save! Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Who can they pick out? No keeper will mind that sort of corner. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. And using his strength to shield the ball. And a chance to whip it in here. And he's clear his lines. And into the last 20 minutes. Garcia. Jordi Alba. Now Jordi Alba. Barca maintain possession. Advantage. Aubameyang. And a strong tackle. Well, there you have it. Napoli have controlled most of the possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. PK. Ten minutes left for play. Frankie de Jong. Sergio Busquets. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Oh, he's given the ball away. Mario Rui. And Politano with it. Zielinski. Late in the game. Napoli with work to do. Who's to say what happens next? Foiling them effectively. Torres. Depay. Well, that's not watertight defending. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. 
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So, 2-0 now. And that is that. The final whistle has sounded. And it's a victory for Barcelona. What did you make of their performance? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, a superb performance up to this point, Stuart, from Memphis. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.